Hi, this is the Brick Padawan again with another review of our Lego Star Wars set. And this time it's Duel on Naboo, set 75169. And it's from the episode 1. And you get three minifigures, you get Dark Maul, Obi Wan Kenobi, and Qui Gon Jinn. And if you flip the set around, you can definitely see there are some action features. Looks like some laser doors opening and some sort of catapult. Yeah. Well, let's get this built, shall we? Alright, so here it is the finished model. So, cool little set. Has some action features there's a, if you pull this this mechanism that's down here will close these doors here <coughs> so there's like the laser doors that uh, Obi-Wan is running through when he's trying to get to uh, Qui-Gon Jinn and Darth Maul that's fighting around this pit here then there's also an uh, action feature if we look down here you can see there's a little uh, transparent uh, thingy down there. And if you push this one, it will act as a spring mechanism. So if, as in the movie, Obi Wan is holding on, he's down there, and you can like push this, and he will somewhat heroically fly up again. So that's a cool little feature. Uh, all in all, it's a, this is a very small, fairly cheap set, uh, and you get three figures with the set. One that we have seen is Obi Wan and Darth Maul, and whoops, Qui Gon Jinn. one also has his lightsaber. If you look at the figures, there's some nice printing on it. The Qui-Gon Jinn in his uh, robe. And there's some back printing on it as well. And they all, except for this guy, of course has uh, double faces, which means if we his head and his hair, then uh, this is his, his other face. So, this is kind of like uh, his uh, I'm gonna defeat your face, and then he has a surprise face, a sad face. Then we have Obi Wan, uh, this is episode one, Obi Wan. So he also has some nice printing, and especially a nice detail is his uh, Padawan braid, it's sort of printed on the robe, it's, it's pretty cool. And he also has some back printing. And he too has double face. It's more angry here. And then of course we have one of the most underrated villains in the Star Wars universe, Darth Maul himself. He also has some, some fairly nice printing on his, on his figure. And no, no two-sided face, just some back printing. But it does come with this horn crown. You can see here that you can pop that off. And his trademark double bladed lightsaber. One note on this set is that you, you can see there's like only one wall. That's kind of weird. Why wouldn't there be two walls? Like another wall over here. I get they don't wall everything up all the way around because then how would you play with the figures? You would like 
sticking your hands in here, there would be no room for the figures because your hands are down here. So, so I get that, but a second wall could be a good idea. So it definitely lends itself to buy an extra set. So that's exactly what I did. I went out and I bought another set. So here I've just custom made this this laser, this walkway with the laser doors. You can see the detailing down here. That that thing has some uh, disc or something in here over here. I just put in some extra of the extra trans red studs just to make it a bit interesting. Then you can actually connect the two. And that's how it looks when you put it together. So these are two of these sets, dual and Naboo sets put together. I just built this custom or mark or whatever. So when I pull this one down here, then the two laser doors, they close and then they open. Oh yeah, and just forgot to put these guys on. Uh, this is not in the original set, I just thought it <laughs> looked cooler. Um, and I had to like, see the, the mechanisms here, just see them there. That one and that one is the same, but it's just reversed and you can easily, if you buy a third set or something, you can easily make a longer walkway. I believe it's four or five doors open when it's running through in the episode. And then I switch out, I switch out the, the sticker piece, the wall here with the excess of these because you get get them from down here and then I just built my own wall here so I have two walls now I still need to manipulate the figures and fight but you just have these two walls and of course if you I don't only use pieces from the sets up here you can easily like this this one is like just a, a slab or whatever. You could easily put like a four down here and then twos here to like grant more structural stability to the set. Or you can, you can also exchange these for these pieces and then you will have a lot of these and you can, you would really be able to extend this chasm or tunnel or whatever but still have the mechanism here and just basically the whole thing would lift up and you will have a lot of these in here so it become like something like this then you just have to figure out how to extend these as well so the walkway become uh, walkway become equal to the fighting area in here. I think you need about probably about four sets and then you'll be able to make the entire thing. Thank you for watching and of course like, comment and subscribe. Uh, I guess this technically is a, a mock, uh, my own creation and I must say I'm a bit surprised that the, my, my first mark would actually be from an uh, episode one scene. I'm not the biggest fan of the prequels, but um, yeah, I always thought it would be from The Force Awakens or, or something like that. But okay, my first mark, my first mark was an episode one mark. So give you another shot here as he's running through here. No, master. Yeah. Well, anyway, tell me what you what your thoughts are about this. Uh, 
do you want to buy more sets of this and then yeah, like, like make a really long walkway or something like that uh, yeah well comment below and uh, subscribe and leave a like if you like this video this is the Blake Padawan signing off